Beautiful day, warm air, lots of good stuff happening. But let's face it, everybody came to see the nose, came to see the, the 900. Tell us what this introduction means to you at this point. Well, Jim, it means a lot to us because the TBM 900 is hitting now the real market today. And as you can see, a lot of people have come to see if what they read is true. The 700 series is one thing, but the upgrade from the 850, which was already such a performer, is really quite extraordinary. How do you do that, make that kind of leap with an airplane that was already, frankly, getting a lot of superlatives from the industry? Well, it's a challenge, and definitely there is nothing that you want to compare between the 700 and 850 and the 900 today. They all have their own positioning in the market. They all have their own answers to the market. The 900 is basically taking one more notch and the challenge that the engineering team was able to take and deliver is actually superb. Probably the item with the greatest criticality is the operability of the airplane, especially since so many of these are owner flown, single pilot, and you know, kick the tires and off they go. Well, we didn't want to have the TBM 900 just be an, a performer. We wanted to make sure that we touch the comfort, safety, ease of flying, the cockpit environment also in many details and aspects. So basically we really visited everything with a simple thing in mind. Let's get the German approach. Anything that works, we don't touch. Anything that needed to be evolving, that's where we had actually the challenge to uh, put the engineering team and work it out. Over the last few years, manufacturers like, like yours have just pushed the envelope on the turboprop market to the point where some of these jets are getting left in the dust. And there's a very compelling argument right now that your best solution still has a prop attached. The uh, turboprop has been left over in terms of design and research for so many years. Basically, you go back to the 60s if you really want to have hard engineering data on turboprops. We haven't seen even near to what has happened on the turbofans market. I think there is a lot of lives in those turboprops. We are showing probably scratching the surface with what we did with the TBM 900 because we did not revisit again some of the installation manuals or anything that were set many, many years ago. As I understand, first year's production is pretty much a wash. You've only got a couple of positions left, correct? Well, we are up to 44 uh, sales so far, and uh, we intend to produce 50 aircraft this year. What are you capable of doing with this airplane if the demand keeps up? We can go back to where we were in 2008, 60, 65 aircraft a year easily. What is the feedback you're getting right now from the early owners? And as I understand, one of the new owners is actually the chairman of TBOPA. Well, the feedback that we have had so far from the lucky people that could put their hands on the aircraft is actually remarkable. They only have a price to say on the aircraft, and we've been very, very pleased with that. So Larry Glazer, for instance, uh, the chairman of TBMOPA, has not yet put his hands on the aircraft, but he is extremely anxious to see what's going to happen with the 900. What did you do with the 900 in regards to really hard weather? Well, we actually had to revisit a certain number of chapters of the certification, work with the FAA, EASA, to comply with the latest amendments. So we actually don't let things stay where they are with the old product. We also have to redemonstrate again the cabinet. So the aircraft has been completely reflown with uh, eye shapes, not only to cover the winglets, but also to, in fact, revisit the icing system of the aircraft. Who are you seeing step up to buy this airplane? You basically have, of course, return customers on the TBM that simply you no know, take on moving up on the uh, product evolutions. Then we see people coming from the Cirrus. We see people coming from the Meridian or the Malibu Mirage and a smaller group of people that will either come down from the jets, VLJs or even larger jets or other kind of turboprops. What kind of training program is available for the person who's stepping up out of a high-priced piston and looking forward to getting into turbine capability? Well, we have uh, worked a lot on the training side as well. So we partner with Simcom training uh, here in Orlando, Florida. 
And we have actually we worked the syllabus so that we are taking up the challenge of transitioning people that have the lesser experience. There's two areas that we try to touch. Number one is the base. And the base has to do with IFR work, which is a challenge because some people represent sometimes a little bit less than what they are really. And if you want to transition to an aircraft like that, you need to have a solid IFR work base. The second is actually we have introduced a mentoring program. Therefore, people that are going through initial training, we are mentoring them with other instructors or other pilots so that they can safely get experience a high altitude in busy environment, high speed approach in the terminal areas so that not only they know about the aircraft but also they know how to operate safely the aircraft into those airspace. So the person who's come out of a 700 or 850 series airplane, what's going to be the most remarkable aspect of the 900 from your experience? Beyond the performance, which is always something that they will notice, is the ease of handling and the single lever is definitely something that brings a lot of easiness in the piloting of the aircraft. It's just a gorgeous looking airplane, we can't wait to try it and congratulations on a great launch. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.